I'm good with that. That looks good. Hey, howdy. How's it going? Um, I just woke up from taking a fat nap, and it was one of those post-church naps where it just hits different because the sun's coming in the window, and you can just relax. I don't know. It was great. I wanted to encourage you today because I know what it's like to be discouraged, and I feel like there's always there's always a need for encouragement. So there's been a verse that I've been reflecting on this week and, and it has been on my mind a lot. And it's Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, which says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. I think this is an encouraging verse because for me when I when I hear that verse oh the sun's going away when I hear that verse what comes to mind is just keep taking the next right step just do the next right thing after the next right thing that pleases and honors the Lord and I know for me man it just gets so hard to um, sometimes think about the future and think about man what's to come but knowing okay in this moment today, I can do the next right thing that honors the Lord. I want you to know that you're not alone in this fight because I'm going through it with you. And I want this to be a place where we can encourage each other and come together as people figuring this out in our 20s following Jesus to know that we're not alone in this. There are other people out there navigating this and we need each other as we navigate this just reflecting on the past week i know there were so many moments where the battle for the battle for my mind the battle for choosing the flesh or choosing god has been has exist has has occurred in the past week something that i'm trying to navigate is is being snippy and, and short-tempered with my wife after after coming home from work and it's like why do I get frustrated and get short with the one person that I was so excited to see all day after work? So in those moments where I do get snippy and short, I'm just like, man, that just wasn't worth it. Like, that didn't build us up. That didn't, that didn't um, refresh me. And so I'm often like, man, what would it have looked like if I chose the Lord over over my flesh in that moment. If you need help, if you need enc encouragement, just leave it in the comments below because I know I would love to respond and also others in this community would also like to respond as well. You have so much beauty and you have so much value. And I just wanna say thanks for being here on this beautiful, peaceful Sunday afternoon. Okay, love you guys.